Paris start to begin? What? Hello, everybody, and we're back after a what? A you got a week? problem, John. What? You didn't turn on Champlay. That is correct. <laughs> that is very, very correct. The reason I forgot is because the last time we recorded, we didn't need it. Yes. That's why. Ooh, yeah, that's how you know I'm getting sleepy. It's a long day at work. Fucking color printer went down and they finally fixed it today. Store all pretty much lost money on that. I. And now I'm in. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that screen to go away. You probably just see it as a big black box. I also see it as a big black box with words on it. All right, three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Super Bonus Round. It's been a few weeks since we took a little bit of a break after we finished Kingdom Hearts 3, but we're back, and as I, as I promised, we're gonna finish the rest of our other series. So, Spyro comes first, because that one's gonna be done sooner. We finished Spyro 1, we finished Spyro 2, now let's move on to Spyro 3. My personal favorite and the namesake of the channel, as far as the completion bonus goes. You ready? Yep. Let's jump in! Oh man, the Spyro journey's almost over. Oh, and they updated this since we last played this, so now they have subtitles on all the, uh, on all the cutscenes, and uh, they actually reduced the file size. It used to be like 60 gigs, and now I think it's like a 30. Who'd have thunk that? An update where they reduce how, how big it is. An evil plot unfolds any day now. Oh, they didn't decrease the load. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they pretty much kept her design the same. Which I like. Okay, it was only one subtitle, but the subtitles at least look nice. Because I remember people were, yeah. I remember people were complaining like hell about that about the cutscenes not having subtitles. We managed to capture the eggs, Your Highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. So it's basically, um, King K. Roll and Drag? <laughs> well, he had to do something while he wasn't in any Donkey Kong games. <laughs> but between... Man, get a, hold of, get a hold of RuPaul, because I think he found his next model. I mean, between Donkey Kong 64 and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, he had to occupy his time somehow. Where are the eggs? True. The eggs came out on the other side of the Dragon Worlds. We found some of the eggs... But they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Yeah. That oh, voice Spyro. sounds so iconic. Yeah, Spyro is still adorable. No, I'm talking about um, what's his name? Um, Argus. I don't remember him very that much. I know I remember what he sounded like in the original. Have you ever, uh, well, that voice. Um, it's probably somebody. Yeah. 
you well, yeah, you you know the um the old cartoon cat dog? Yes. Yeah, I think he played uh cat. That was Jim Cummings and I know that wasn't him. Okay. Sound like him. But Tom Kenny, the voice of Spyro, was a uh, dog. <laughs> that is true. Oh, do that I have is the original? Very true. Do I have the original music on? Nope, reignited. Okay, so it sounds very much the same. Yeah. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, use the right stick. To quickly center the camera behind you, tap the center camera button. Oh, this brings like a lot of memories. This particular world. I do know who voices Bianca in the new this new written rendition. Who's that? Melissa Hutchinson. I don't know if you played the Telltale Walking Dead games, but it's Clementine. No. I kind of miss her being voiced by the lady who played in Millhouse. That's <laughs> who voiced her in the, in the original. Uh, Pamela Hayden. It was like, kind of like, not nearly as nerdy, but mean Millhouse. Yeah. Oh, this fucker again. <laughs> but you get to see him get hurt a lot in this one. Good. He deserves it. Oh, by the way, they're coming out with another John Wick movie. Yeah, I know. I haven't even seen it. Uh, any it's of them such yet. a good movie. I haven't seen any of them yet. I strongly urge you to. My business I mean, is a bit of a slump, so I decided to go get a side gig as an EA salesman. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila <laughs> the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to... You know, I'm only going to give EA credit for one thing and one thing only. And that is the games in the past. The entire James Bond franchise after GoldenEye. Um, the early Need for Speed games. Um, but that's basically it. And the original Mass Effect trilogy. Yeah, before it went all went to shit. I said the original. Well, many would argue that three was mishandled. It was mishandled, but it was still playable. Yeah, like I felt, I felt like the ending was well after they updated it was fine. Because I didn't play it before they fixed it. I played it long after it had come out, so I'm I'm not familiar with what was wrong. But I think if I looked up at like a, a difference list, I'd be able to tell you. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, that ending was probably shit. But fuck what they're doing to the Star Wars franchise. That's... Disney should have... Oh, yeah, fuck them. Re Disney should have revoked the license for them not from them by now. Well, you know, it's all about the money. Yeah, well, the games aren't... Well, I, I actually don't know what the sales numbers are for the Battlefront games. And now uh -huh. be Yeah, the little dragons are cute. They're big old fat uh -huh. babies. Big ol' fat babos. They're crying! Damn it. And now we have to play the game of find, find the dragons with our names. I forget where mine is. I oh, I think mine's in um, a speedway. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. Just like you a fucking cat. He doesn't like want to go in the water. Charge button when you're on the surface. And charge underwater by holding down charge as well. That was not intentional, but... But, uh, yeah, so... That's the only thing I will give them credit for. I mean, yeah, e EA at one point used to be serviceable, but... Used to be the shit. It used to be the shit. We're, uh, you know, we're talking like early 2000s. Now, now, remo like... now remove the, and you've got the right answer. Yeah. That you don't you don't regularly top a uh, worst company to work for list a lot uh, often as they do. I think they're tied with Activision. 
No, well, they, they, mainly, no, like I'm, I'm, for, I'm, being, I'm not making a gaffe. I'm being legit. EA has has topped uh, worst company in America lists frequently. Activision, uh, they got some pretty shitty things going on. But uh, as far as that list goes, Activision constantly makes it. Yeah, because of uh, well, um, Call of Duty. And um, literally, just take out Call of Crunch. Change it. Which Red Dead is uh, is guilty of, and now Mortal Kombat 11 is doing the same shit. And Telltale went under because they did this. In fact, the co-founder. Yeah, now if we could just get now if we could just get Epic Games to go under, then we'll be all right. I don't. Oh, you know what? They're doing it too. So yes, I, I found out recently they're doing it too. Oh yeah. Well, and um, and of course EA just to add more fuel to the proverbial shit fire. Uh, you know, we have Apex Legends now, which is basically, uh, big kid Fortnite. It, That's it all it is. Looks, it's big looks kid, interesting, you know, but, because, but I see that EA it's publishers the ups, It's the pull-ups of Battle Royale. You know, grown-ass men playing Apex Legends going, I'm a big kid now. <laughs> that's basically what it is i wonder if that's still their ad campaign i well then i wouldn't know i don't watch very much television anymore i just watch game of thrones and that that is still that is still their their uh their campaign it's always been that way but um anyway that's basically what apex legends is it's like oh fortnite for little fortnite that looks like borderlands there is a fail attempt uh, you know, and you know, for basically kids who are still probably in diapers, I don't know. Um, and Apex Legends is props. So I still um, have not played a single yeah. battle royale game in my life. Good, don't. I don't have any interest in doing it. It's like, well, I have interest in one. It's not. It's Tetris ninety nine. That's the only one I really care about. But that would—that's well, different. Tetris is Tetris. That's 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 you know. Yeah, but Tetris '99 is like is like you and uh, 98 other people playing Tetris and trying to knock each other out. That's at least interesting. Yeah, because it's Tetris. Tetris has been around for a very long time. Speaking of Tetris, um, I had actually found out that it was actually made by a Russian. I've known that. But I haven't. It's like, like I, I, if if it wasn't a dead giveaway, um, in Puyo Puyo Tetris, when you play Tetris, the background is uh, I forget the name of that monument in uh, Moscow. It's that castle. The Kremlin. The Kremlin. Oh yes, that. But yeah, so. If you're a game company that believes in crunch and overworking your hours without your employees up, uh, paying them properly, you don't deserve to be in business. Well, that that makes up for a vast majority of several uh, major companies. Except for Nintendo. Well, yeah, Nintendo is the only... Basically, basically you take away all the companies that do, you're and you're basically Nintendo. left with Nintendo. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, they, they're they're in the top ten most trusted companies in America. Meanwhile, well, yeah, because they've been around for like since the late eighteen hundreds. And fun fact: Did any of you guys know that when uh, the Wii U was failing, uh, any other normal company would have cut the set, uh, cut the wages of the uh, employees? The late Satir Satoru Iwata, the former president, he cut his own salary so that uh, they could oh, make yeah. up make up that money back. Spyro, I love your sweet naivety. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Ah, Spoken like a true game developer. <laughs> I, uh, I hope you appreciate this uh, her does redesign is weird. That's good, you mate. No hard feelings. <clears throat> After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All is forgiven for that, though. Can you be one of them dragons then? Yeah, name Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Crikey! Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? 
Got Vegemite all up in me pan. I put the nipper in the dunny. <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. This is also a knife. Oh. <laughs> oh god damn it the Simpsons. The, that, that episode was great. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah. They're starting to fade out too. One by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage. She has that Dr. Jean Goodall approach. I think that might have been what they were going for, even though Dr. Jane Goodall worked with gorillas. <laughs> but still she was still a she was still a you know, a zoologist, I think. Yeah. Or, she was still... They should have gone the Steve Irwin route, route with her. That would have been a fun tribute. Yeah. Okay, how long but, has this episode yeah. been going? A good 16 minutes, shit. Alright, so next time on the Super Bonus Round, I think I'm either going to go to the Sheila's level or Sunny Villa, which is the first skateboarding level. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See ya.